everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a teleportation device in your Scratch uh, program. So I still have the same joystick controls here using uh, rotation style left, right. So the, the mouse will face left or right, depending which direction I'm going. And the mouse, uh, the cat will animate uh, each time I press one of the arrow keys. And it will start at the center of the screen each time the green flag is clicked. And on my backdrop, I have a, a green square uh, and a red square. So I'm going to make it so that when the cat enters the green square, it will teleport to the red square. And we'll add a little teleportation effect. So let's do that. Um, Let's start with an events block when the green flag is clicked. Then we need to sense if the cat is touching the green color. And we need to check that all the time. So we need a forever loop so that it's checking if the cat is touching the green while the program is running. And I need an if then statement. So if the cat is touching the green, I have to go to sensing. If I am touching the hit the dropper to pick this green color. There we go. Now it's in there. So if the cat is touching the green, then then I want to start my uh, teleportation effect on the cat. There's a couple of ways you could do that, but the easiest way is to go into looks and change color effect. So you can change the color effect. We'll just change this uh, cat's color. But I want to change um, something else. So there's different effects in here. You can play with around with them. But I want the ghost effect. If I click it, the cat slowly disappears. In fact, I'm going to ch change it to 5. So it's a little slower. So it disappears slowly. And I need a, a repeat loop, so I'm going to go into control and repeat this. So the ghost effect starts at zero. So when I can see the cat, you know, as a normal cat, it's at zero. And when it's at a hundred, it is it is uh, invisible. So I'm going to repeat this loop 20 times and make him invisible five, five units at a time until it is at a hundred, which and the cat will be invisible. So let's just try this out and see if it works. So here we go. Cat touches red, nothing happens. Cat touches green, disappears. Awesome. So now I just need to move the cat over to the red square and make him reappear. So to move, I'm gonna go into motion and I'm gonna move the cat to that spot first. So the coordinates of that cat will be on this move block. So grab the go to block and the coordinates are X is 200, so that's way over here, and Y is 132 up there, so that's right. So I'm gonna go in there, and then I'm just going to change it. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing as this repeat loop, except I'm going to subtract five 20 times in this repeat loop. So I need another repeat loop. Change it to 20. Need another change ghost effect. So that's looks. I'm changing the look of the cat. And I'm going to change the ghost effect by minus five. So I'm counting down from 100. I'm counting down from 100 down to zero so the cat will be fully visible. And there we go. It's the green, fades out, and then fades in. Perfect. So you could, you could add a little sound effect too. So let's do that. Let's go to sounds and see what kind of sounds they have in the library here. If you hover your mouse over the sound, it will play what it what that sound effect is. I want effect. Oh, that's magical sound. I like that. Let's do that one. Pick that one. And now we'll go into code and code the sound. So that will be in the sound blocks. The sound blocks. So we're going to um, 
play sound until done. No, that if you if you choose play sound until done, it will play that sound until it's done, and then it will move on to the next command. I just want to start the sound to start the sound called Juan, and then it will as soon as it starts, it will go on to the next command. That's what I want. So let's try that. Red, I think. Green. Arr, awesome. And that's how you can make a teleportation effect uh, in Scratch.